Hey Sketchers, today we are going to see the fast and dirty way to draw sneakers and we are going to use the app Morfolio Trace. So welcome to the designsketchbook.com, I'm Shutak. So as you can see here on the app, there is already two sneakers drawn on the left and this is what I made with some very thin nib. But here the trick if you want to draw faster is to use purposely this kind of thick nib because it's going to let you avoid the distraction of trying to be perfectionist. Just start, just start to draw with something which is very thick for the nib and then you will see that actually when you will draw, it will get more abstract somehow. You won't get the exact precision of what you want, but the intention will be there. And this is what you need to follow when you sketch. And you see that in just less than 45 seconds, I already come up with the design. So I add some more details for the outsole right here. So remember that if you follow me for a while, you know that you will have to start with the shoe last at the beginning when you want to draw sneakers or any type of shoes. So if you want to get uh, to know more about the shoe last and all the steps about how to draw shoes, so I invite you to download the sneaker book where I'm going to share with you 37 secrets from the pros. So here I add a bit of colors. So you see, I'm trying to be very rough as well. Just thinking about mm, what kind of color blocking I would like to have for this, for this design. Mm -mm. So now I'm using a darker shade of gray where I'm going to outline a bit more what I want to uh, emphasize. Here we go. So you will gain uh, in precision for something that is very rough. Uh, you will gain in something that you will see more definition. But I purposely want like to, to have this sketch feeling, to have this feeling of dynamism. This is why, as you can see, even though I drew on top of it, um, it's still very sketchy. And that's the intention that I want. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that is a very good way to start drawing some ideas, some doodles, some intention of designs very fast because you don't want to spend too much time at trying to create a design and at the end of the day when you are looking for ideas only to have two or three proposals. If you use that way you will actually multiply your, your ideas. You are going to multiply um, your proposals of designs and getting creative without fear of failing because actually if you fail you can come up with another design very fast okay mm -mm -mm. here we go with some hatching cross hatching it's like a grid like a mesh mm -mm -mm -mm. how about the lace let's put it yellow as well <laughs> I pretty like the color palette of Morfolio that he's proposing here, just on the size of the tools, so that's pretty convenient. And we have a library of color palette you can use, and you can see that actually in the sneakers design, in sneaker brands, the mix of the yellow and the blue is quite common. And it actually quite looks good and sporty. Here, let's do the stripes for the Adidas shoes to make them more pop up. About the logo right here. So you would realize that the main, the core design actually of this of this doodle of this sketch has been made just in one minute, and the rest is about detailing, where you can actually take your time. How about here some font to make it more technical? That could describe the technologies, for example. Here are adding some grips that are in blue so they can pop up. It's good to have just a few colors. Don't try to go too crazy. The design is already kind, in, kind of intricate so you don't want to have too many colors on it. It has to be easy to understand from far. So you try to imagine that your design is on a shelf 
And is it going to be recognized from far? Does it have an identity? Those people are going to say, oh, wow, that, that sneakers is actually popping from the rest. And colors plays a lot of importance. Now I'm adding some mesh, some cushioning inside that I want a bit irregular. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Here we go. So I invite you to try different sizes and thickness of the tools that Morfolio proposed to you guys. And having different rendering and different feeling when you draw, this is what you need to master as well with the thin line or something which is more, let's say, dirty, dirty sketches. <laughs> if you can master both, you are going to improve a lot more. All right, so the design sketchbook right here, I'm Shutak, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you want to see more tutorials on the blogs, you can find it at thedesignsketchbook.com, click on shoe design, and here you can get some more videos and tips and tricks, and also an interview of Mr. Belay. And also, if you want to go further, remember to download the sneaker sketchbook where you can get all the secrets of the sneaker designers that I wish to know when I started. Alright, so see you for the next tutorials and don't re remember to send me your email so I can send you the books. It's free. Bye-bye.